Have you ever wondered why developers prefer to use module.exports over exports when exporting code? Well, let's talk about that. You probably already know that in Node.js, a module's code is wrapped with a function that contains five parameters before it is executed. Out of these five parameters, both exports and module can be used to export code. In this first example, in math.js, two functions, add and subtract, have been attached to properties on module.exports for exporting. They're imported and invoked in index.js, logging the right output to the console. Here's the same code with module.exports replaced by exports parameter. In both cases, you can import and use the two functions without a problem. In this next example, we assign a new object to module.exports instead of attaching to the different properties. Code continues to work as expected. Now, here's the same with module.exports replaced by exports. But this unfortunately does not work as expected. In Node.js, module is a plain JavaScript object with an exports property. Exports is a plain JavaScript variable that happens to be set to module.exports. Because of how object reference works in JavaScript, updating properties on exports will also update properties on module.exports. When you export from this file though, only module.exports is returned. When you assign a new object to exports, the reference is broken and updating exports no longer updates module.exports. For this reason, math is an empty object and our code throws an error when accessing .add or .subtract. While exports parameter may be shorter and seems more convenient, the confusion it can cause is just not worth it. And for this very reason, developers prefer module.exports over exports.